The positivity rate over on the Big Island is nearly 7.5% with 103 new cases reported just today. Among those who've tested positive is Hawaii County Mayor Mitch Roth and he's joining us through Zoom live right now from his home over on the Big Island. Mayor Roth, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Hello everybody. You know, not exactly the holiday plans that you had, but I just wanted to get a temperature check. Uh, how is recovery, go recovery going for you? You know, um, I think because I've been vaccinated and had the booster, I had a very mild uh, case of COVID. Um, but I think that really emphasizes the need for people to get out there if they haven't been vaccinated, to get vaccinated, if they haven't got the booster, to get the booster. And for those people that who maybe just don't want to take it to at least test regularly. You know, what we're seeing in the hospitals is people who are generally going in there are generally people that have not been vaccinated or boosted. People who have been vaccinated and boosted are kind of like me, they're having mild symptoms. Now, Mayor, as a, as a public servant uh, of your county, you have to oversee the well-being of, of your community and with COVID response. So does having COVID-19, does that change your outlook on response efforts? You just mentioned reinforcing messages and certain public pleas. Well, you know, looking at this variant and knowing that, you know, November 23rd was when it was first spotted halfway around the world. Um, there is concern. This is a, a, a very communicable disease, and uh, it has us concerned on how quickly it got uh, to us, how you can be trying to be uh, cautious and still you're able to get it. So, uh, yeah, it, it's making us think a little bit. We're going to be reducing our gathering sizes indoors to 10 people. So we're requesting people if they're going to go out and uh, celebrate New Year's, do it outside. It's a lot safer outdoors than it is indoors. And you know, with the, I want to get into a, a few of the numbers uh, that I was looking at at the dashboard earlier today. So the seven day average case count is, is 66, and that's just based off of the state's dashboard, but that's up four from the previous day. And then you look at the test positivity, it's 7.4%. And we know that a safe test positivity is, is lower than 3%. So what is this data suggesting to you? Perhaps data that maybe something that we don't recognize. Well, I think what we're seeing around the world is what we're going to see here. I think these numbers are going to go up. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it's time to just, again, be cautious and not freak out or anything. Um, but do what, you know, we've been talking about for, for the longest time. Just stick, stay home, um, wear a mask, socially distance, and try to, you know, um, congregate outside versus inside. inside. And, you know, Mayor, with just a, a few seconds left of our interview, I don't want to take too much of your time, but are there any specific areas that in the future that you see need a little bit more support, need a little bit more bolstering? Well, you know, I, I think testing is something that we're looking at as a whole country, uh, making sure that we have test kits and, and being able to do more testing, I think, is going to be really important. People are waiting a uh, long times. Um, to get tested. So I think, you know, more testing and getting people vaccinated and boosted is really important. Well, Mayor, we, we certainly appreciate your time. And, and once again, uh, we wish you a very speedy recovery.